Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well, we had a great question. We built a sort of one page scrolling website and uh, somebody was asking after we put that up there, how do I actually back up my sites and how do you migrate them? I use a free plugin called WP Vivid, which is absolutely awesome. Let's go down to my dashboard here. I've got it down here. And you can schedule it. This is with the free version. You can schedule it to back up once a day, once a week, however you want to. Just hit the schedule right there and you can choose. And this is all available in the free version. If you want to, you can save your backups to your Dropbox or your Google Drive or whatever you want up there, which is another really nice feature. But of course, the main one is the backup and restore. So if you haven't got it, go to plugins. We'll go to add new. And simply type where it says search plugins WP Vivid. And there it is right there. I've already got mine installed. Go ahead and hit install and activate on yours if you don't have it. And it'll appear down here. And as I demonstrated just now, you can set up a, a schedule, auto migration, remote storage with the Dropbox and things like that. All we really want to do today is I'm going to back up this site and download it to my local computer. And also I'll upload that backup to a live site. At the moment I'm working on localhost on my computer here, which is usually how I build client sites. Then when I'm ready for the client to view, I'll move them to my live server in a subdomain. And that's what we'll do today. Okay, to create a backup, let's delete the one that I've just created there. Backups are at the bottom here. I just hit the trash can to delete it just now. Okay, to manually create a backup, just hit the backup now button. And it's going to start. Now this is a fairly sizable site. I've got a lot of pages. It's not really a real site. It's a sort of demo site that I've been making my videos with. And like I said, I've got a lot of pages and several plugins. And also something to note is the PHP version on my local host here is something like seven. And the one on my ser server is going to be sort of eight or 8.1. So we're different PHP versions and it'll still work fine. Okay. And it's telling me the backup tasks have been completed and that took about two minutes. I paused it a little bit in the middle. No point you watching that bar go across and it's appeared down here in our new backups, February 22, and it's telling me the time. Now to restore a particular backup, and we'll be doing this later on in the video, just go over here and hit the restore, and it'll restore it for you. To delete one, we've seen that already, just hit the trash can. To download it to your desktop so you've got it safe in case there's a catastrophic failure of your site or something like that, hit the little download button. Now as this is a fairly reasonable size site it's split it up into two downloads so I need to download both of them to make this work so I'm simply going to hit the first download I'm using Chrome so it's downloading it loading it to my browser here and let's hit the second one great well that was pretty quick I've now got these files and of course you can save them and keep them safe now the great thing about WP Vivid is all you have to do is have any WordPress site and just install WP Vivid on it and you'll be able to restore whatever you've got backed up here. So let's demonstrate that. I'm going to go over to my live hosting here. I'm going to go down. I'm going to install WordPress on one of my subdomains. I haven't created a folder for it. I can do everything in here. Most hosts have this Softaculous install. If yours doesn't, contact your hosting provider. They, they will have a way of installing WordPress. Okay, I want to install it in a subdirectory. Let's call it Divi migrate. And that's all I'm going to do there. I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick install. Admins fine. Let's make a silly password. I can make that admin as well because we're going to overwrite this. So you don't need to worry about having a, a strong password because once we migrate our new site over the top, this won't even exist anymore. Rolling down to the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and hit install. And there we are, it's installed it. And just up here, I've got a login link or you can go to the URL where you've installed it. 
and here we are now it's telling me there's an update I'm not going to even bother updating because it's going to pull in everything from our site that we backed up and make this irrelevant anyway what I do need to do is go down to plugins and remember this is just a, a raw in, install of the latest version of WordPress so there's nothing on it I'm going to go up to add new search plugins WP Vivid There we are. I'm going to go ahead and install it on our new site here and activate it. Great, and there it is. Now we've activated it, it's down here, it's taken us to the page. There's a little upload button right here. We can upload the backup from our site from localhost. So we're going to drag it up here and drag the other one up there. Hit the upload and it'll upload them one at a time. I'll pause briefly again while it's doing that. Okay, that's the first one done. Second one's starting. While those are uploading, let's go back to our original site and visit it. And remember, I've got mine on localhost here and we're migrating to my main domain that's also got an SSL on it. And we've got a sort of home page. We've got a little gallery page here and these are things I've demonstrated in my previous videos zoom effects and things like that we got another page here with some pricing tables got a CSS grid and a little animated page there and a little contact page so let's go back now and see how we're doing over here backup's been all totally uploaded now those files have disappeared and we've got a backup here so I'm going to go ahead and hit the restore and hit the little blue restore button here am I sure yep and it's going to start the restore process okay there we are it says it's restore completed successfully that took about three minutes I'm going to hit the okay and it's going to ask us to re-log into our site and this is going to be the password for our original site that we migrated, not for the new WordPress install. So let's log in. And here we are. Let's visit the site. And as you can see, we've now got our site here. Everything seems to be displaying correctly. Let's check all the pages. Yep, that's fine. Yep yeah absolutely fine and there's our contact page great well that seems to have completed perfectly the only problem that I occasionally get when I do this is is sometimes you'll go to a page and it'll give you a 404 page not found error if you have that problem go back down to your dashboard go to your settings and down to your permalinks now you probably don't even have to do anything here in here but what I tend to do is just change whatever the permalink structure is to something different save it and then change it back save it again then go back to the new page and that usually fixes the 404 error problem now I don't know if you've noticed or not I've got SSL on this site and it's migrated over perfectly if you get a mixed content signal or a warning up here that you've got mixed content coming from a HTTP to a HTTPS site there's a great little free plugin called really simple SSL so again just go down to your plugins add new and type in really simple and it'll probably pop up there it is right there and it's another free one and it's great for correcting mixed content errors and things like that so great we've got our little site migrated over over here which is fine as I mentioned earlier this is what I usually do for a client so that they can see their site then when they're happy I do exactly the same thing back it up in WP vivid move it over to their hosting once they've paid and it's job done so there you go guys, that's how to back up and migrate your site using the great WP Vivid plugin. Like I say, it's absolutely free and it really is a great thing to have on your site. Another great feature of it 
is you can just back up the database on its own if you want to and migrate it or also the files now if you've got some kind of big WordPress update and you, you're worried that it's gonna break your site or you've got to do some edits that you think may break your site just make a quick backup first do your edits if it breaks it you can restore it really quickly get it back to how it was with no problem so there you go guys there's how to back up and might migrate your site with a fantastic WP vivid plugin I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.